This is a true story that happened to me one day. For legal reasons, I'm not allowed to say the place where I was actually working at the time. But it was a bookstore that started with W and rhymed with Ralden Rooks. It was a busy Saturday at Ralden Rooks. There must have been 20 or 30 people shopping in the store. My manager and I were stuck at the counter ringing up a steady line of customers when a young couple approached me. The man said, Just so you know, somebody took a crap in the back of your store. Well, I laughed it off because he couldn't possibly have been serious. It's not like we have a bathroom back there. But he was serious. I went to the back of the store, hoping that the guy was still joking. But halfway back, the miasma of wonderful, wonderful excrement filled the air. And it only got stronger as I got further towards the back corner. Which is, strangely enough, where we had our reading table. There were six people back at the reading table, thumbing through books and talking to each other. They were totally oblivious of the pile of shit only a few feet away from them. And when I say pile of shit, I do mean it. This was almost two feet across, a few inches thick, a mixture of solid excrement and diarrhea that smelled so bad, I'd swear that the person that left it in my store must have eaten shit before crapping it back out again. Well, like any good employee, I went to my manager and said, what the hell are we gonna do? And like all good managers everywhere, she told me to clean it up. I dropped bleach all over that store until I couldn't smell anything. I didn't care if I fried my sinuses as long as I didn't have to smell one more bit of crap that day. I ran that mop into the carpet until I tore it to bits because I wasn't going to get any closer than a five foot pole to any of that stuff that might get on me. I'm a manager myself now and I learned two lessons that day that I carry with me even now. One. I don't clean anything myself. That's for my employees to do. And two, anyone ever even looks like they're dropping their pants in my store and I'm going to plant my shoes so far up their ass that they'll never take the shit again.